<laughs> are we good? Good, yes, sir. We're doing it live. We are doing it live. Welcome back, everyone. It is your man. Sorry, I have something in my eye, of course, right when we start. It is your man, John G, and you are watching What the Pigpin. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, I know that we went ahead and posted earlier today, but did not have a very special guest being part of the show, which is One Shot Customs. You might know him as Rev within the community. So, uh, Rev, thanks for joining us this evening. We appreciate you so much. Appreciate you having me. Very cool. And then, as always, uh, Battle, unfortunately, was not able to join us. So I had sent out the... Uh, the beacon to my man Darth Pins. He was able to be free this evening, so thanks for joining us again, man. I right, appreciate you having me back on again. Yep, for sure. Um, yeah, so battle nice. is is stuck down a uh, getting stuff together for a mining expedition, um, and then he had to go ahead and go to the airports for uh, some. I think pick up some family. So we miss you, Battle, as always. Hope you're having a good time and can't wait to see you next time. Uh, my very first What the Fig Pin show. Well, CVTV, thank you for joining us, man. Um, tell CV, if you can tell us, do you have the uh, bait? Do you have this bait logo? Tell me if you have that bait logo, C CVTV. Thank you for joining us. But before we get started, we wanted to go ahead and give a shout out to all of those joining us this evening and our very first person who beat out Van Harris with the iconic Pew Pew. We have Getty Up. Hello, Van Harris. As always, a pleasure. Queen Nerd is in the house. Animus, Darth Pins even joined us in the chat as well as One Shot, Deku Pops, Nick uh animus i believe i said already cvtv sharing once more that it is his first time and then new jersey sith hope you're doing well my friend so thank you guys so much for joining us uh if you have not seen the show before uh we do this every we try to do this every tuesday i know we've missed <laughs> here and there uh but we talk all things nerdy about fig pin so thank you again and one shot i know that you had reached out to us a while ago and we were finally able to go ahead and kind of um get some time together you're here for a specific reason uh and i know we were supposed to go live last week for just a uh and a mystery opening mm -hmm. but we wanted to go ahead and get to know you a little bit more so would you mind going ahead and sharing like what your like how you joined Fig Pin? What was your first Fig Pin, and what does your collection look like from that very first Pig the Pig Pin, the very first Fig Pin? <laughs> what it looks like today? <laughs> okay, so, so um, I, I've been in the collecting community for years. Um, I got into Fig Pin, I want to say probably about five years ago. Yep, I couldn't tell um, that you were into collecting by everything behind you there. So. <laughs> 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 just a little bit um my um my first fig pin what was that i actually had to look around to figure out what it was it was actually um batman 84 um that fig pin, oh, the, nice. um the original batman fig pin. yeah i i've been a batman fan forever since i was a as they would say a wee lad um so i've been i've been a, um, a batman fan for a long time um you know, one of my um, favorite fig pins, which was actually is actually the most expensive one that I paid for, was when I paid for the membership and got the um, the Bruce Lee. Oh, nice! Ooh. Amazing! It, it was that because you know were you um, lucky enough to get the when they were doing it for the two fifty, or did were you you paid the thousand for the membership? I, I actually got it when I think it was three hundred, three hundred two fifty okay. somewhere around there. Um, that's when I got it. Um, you know. Does my wife know about it? No, but um, hey, you know it is what it is. <laughs> she does now. Hopefully, she doesn't watch this. That's all. She does now. <laughs> and uh, what what yeah. sequence did you get there? And what was your? Have you claimed that pin? I have claimed that pin. I do not remember what the sequence is. Um, I was just excited to get it because now I just have one um Bruce Lee pin left that I need to get, which is the um Awesome Fest. Okay. One is the only one that I don't have. Very cool. Did, and did with the, the uh, yeah, do you have the signed one or do you have the San Francisco Dodger or Padres? I, I have the San Francisco Padres one. I, mean, the the one that... I do have the Giants one. 
The Giants, sorry. I said, yeah, I said the, the Giants. Yeah. You have it, the one that it's signed or the, the unsigned one? The unsigned one. Okay. <laughs> sorry, my daughter's saying goodnight to me. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. That's very cool, man. So we're so awesome fest. That's the last one I need. So if anyone has an awesome fest, Bruce Lee, uh, hit up one shot or rev within the community. I have seen more of those for sale lately than 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 when I was trying to find it. So there should should be pretty easy to try to hopefully somebody can reach out for one of those. Very cool. So um, is is Bruce Lee your main focus in the licenses, or do you have a, another specific license that you like collecting within Figpin? Um, ironically, the license that I have the most of is Hello Kitty. I okay. have um. All Almost every Hello Kitty um, pin. Um, I think there's probably there's three mysteries that I do not have. Um, I'm sorry, five mysteries that I do not have, um, and it's across um, separate se uh, several different ones. Very cool, man. But I have been able, but I have been able to get. Um, I have three of the ultras already now that um, because I've been able to co um, collect three sets already complete. Wow, that's very very cool. And did you um buy the mystery minis? Like you, you found each mystery mini to go ahead and claim the ultra, or did you go ahead and go out and like buy ones that were missing from you know the collection to claim the, the ultra? A little bit of both. Um, actually, what I do every time when when a mystery set comes out that I want, I actually buy um two cases, um off the bat, so that I can get the the majority of what I need. And then I just start looking for the other little ones that I may need throughout. Very cool. Very cool. Um, and sorry to go ahead and jump to the chat real quick. Uh, CVTV, uh, if you if you follow us either on Instagram or um, Facebook, reach out to us on at WT Figpin. Uh, that bait logo pin is yours. And that is thanks to Pops and Pins. Uh, since I went ahead and he was gracious enough to surprise me with a bait logo and I was, I got the chase one, I'm going ahead and I, I had an extra, um, of the, the un, the non chase version of it. So that one is yours and thank you for joining us, uh, this evening. So again, thanks to pops and pins at surprising me with a, uh, another, um, bait mystery logo hunt. And it was luckily to hit the chase. So I'm trying to get back to the community. And since you're new to the show, we appreciate you. And thanks for uh, being part of the community, man. All right. Um, this is always tough to do when we're looking at, like trying to talk and then <laughs> continue to look at the, the chat here. <laughs> uh, yeah. What is your favorite pin currently? Ooh, that is hard to say. What is my favorite? Um, oh gosh, it's it's yeah. I would have to say it's um the white Batman. Um, actually, it, it's really funny. I say white Batman like there weren't several of them. I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> this one. I was just about to ask you if you had that one. Yeah, I actually just got the. Um, the all black one um, this past week. Um, so oh, that really? was the last one of the out of the three of these that I needed. So, so let me ask you a question about yeah. Batman. Do you have it with the eyes or without the eyes? Which one? That that white Batman. The black one. Wait there's... a minute. Yep. <laughs> you didn't know that about this dark? Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I I didn't know either. Um and, and I have to say, um I th think it has the eyes. So there there is uh I think I'm pretty sure it was lot B that they went ahead and <laughs> um eyes. messed up and then the, the circle that's within or like the smaller piece that's supposed to be in the eyes is missing. So there there is a an actual true variant out there that wasn't supposed to be a variant. It was a, a, a mishap within production. But yeah, there is there is a, a variant of that pin. 
I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to look at this more closely after the and live because if, um, if you look within you know, the app, funny. you can go ahead and because even even the artwork in the app goes ahead and shows it without the um without the eye without the the eye hole. Okay. I yeah, think you, um, I'm pretty sure if uh, is, if I remember, I think Battle blind. has his collection open for view. So if you look mm. at Battle's collection and find that pin, he has the one that does not have the uh, the eyes showing in it. Okay. Cool. Darth, did you just learn something that I you did not know? I I did not know that. I I uh, I just checked it. It looks like it does have the little like just the bat thing with just the dead eyes. The plain white eyes. So I did not know that. Yep. I'm gonna be looking that up. Well, so as we're still talking here. Uh, I went ahead and got my Claire's order and I don't know, Darth, did you get anything special this week? I got a little Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, do we want to go ahead and see what we get? This is my first, uh, <laughs> my first Lilo and Stitch pen. So Pin Escobar, this is for you, man. Cause I don't know. I haven't opened any of these yet. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what I'm getting here. Let me see. I like I like the stitch with the ice cream cones, with the the ice cream scoop. Sorry. All right, in three, in two, in one. Oh, that's really hard. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, you got a dark magician. Nice. Got yeah, stitch with a pineapple. I believe that's a common. Now it's, now I'm gonna have to scan the QR code. <laughs> now it's time to scan the QR code here. Now, Rev, you said that you went ahead and you do you collect other um, mystery minis or have you just collected the Hello Kitty mystery minis? I have um, Hello Kitty, um, Spy Family, and I'm trying to think if there was any other one because I know I have um, pretty much most of all five of the um, Hello Kitty ones, and then I have the Spy Family. I don't think I have. I don't think there's a, another set that I collected besides those. <clears throat> um so i just found something and i'll have to go ahead and reach out to figpin but if you scan this qr code it just brings you to it just brings you to a page with other mystery minis it doesn't bring up the checklist um for so this the splash page is in the wrong spot or maybe did i find it oh nope i just had to scroll down it's a little bit different it didn't bring you right to the page. But yes, that stitch with the pineapple is a common. I just I pulled to it. This was uh this is an ultra a super rare. You got a super rare, your very first pull? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, man. Lucky you. Look at you, man. <laughs> very, very cool. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations, dude. Yeah, that's now I gotta see what I can do with this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. I'm like yeah. Yeah, uh, all right, I'll take that. Well, and I didn't want to leave Rev out of the fun. So as I mentioned before, I know that Rev, uh, you know, you reached out to us because you had seen myself battle uh, Professor Figpin going ahead and having some uh, quest battles. And you had purchased one or two of the quests yourself? Nine. Nine of them. Okay, <laughs> awesome. And you have yet to open them, right? No, I haven't opened them yet. I just, so, I just, un I just opened the package. I haven't, op I haven't pulled it out yet. So I'm just waiting for this one. So you want to go ahead and uh, so I know that they're they're not they're no longer available uh, to purchase online from Figpin's website. You have nine of them, so you possibly have one of the twenty five golden white. Uh, Naruto quest pins sitting in Ho front of him. Hopefully. Hopefully. Or hopefully. at least a, yeah, even I, I the glitter from, one. Yeah, because I got them from this the Mighty Hot Shop. Um, because it was, you remember we were on the live and people were saying they had some at the Mighty Hobby Shop. I said, no, I just bought the last nine. <laughs> oh, that was you that did that? <laughs> Very cool. All right, well, we'll see then. Uh, so, so the other thing is I I did get, uh, there was a, a mix up with my order from when Figpin was doing the uh, logo promotion last month um i had bought two uh deluxe box sets but they only sent me three 
uh, pins, uh, three logo pins. They, mm -hmm. I reached out to them. They went ahead and they sent me, and I just received it today. Um, but this is the Subway logo from NYCC 2022, if I remember. Yes. This is the Squid Game logo. And then I'm very, very excited for this one. Uh, I got a Pins on Fire AP. Fig pin logo. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. That's definitely Very awesome. Very cool. Well, that's awesome. I'm so happy that I got a Pins on Fire um, AP logo. The 2022 Partner of the Year, Pins on Fire. If you haven't checked them out, go to pinsonfire.com. Every Monday, they go ahead and they post new APs that they have within their uh, vault. And they make it available for sale for you guys. All right. So, Rev, the floor is yours, man. Let's go ahead and see the very first one here. Let me go ahead and make you the spotlight so everyone can see it. In three, All right. Two, one. It's the common. Uh, the common. All right. No, no problem. No worries there. You know, we, we, we knew there, were, there would be commons in there. Yep. We know that for sure. We definitely know that. <laughs> very cool. Do you want to open another one? Yeah, let's 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 try one more and see if see if I can get a little bit luckier on the second one. The guy got a little faster. The uh, as soon as you pull out that orange, we know what it is already. Yep. <laughs> All right. If we see green or, or white. We know it's a, a huge hit. All or, right, blue or Ready? white. Sorry. Three, two, one. No. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, two so far, but. They'll have seven left. Yep. Still have seven left for sure. Um, what do we want to go ahead and do for some of the news? Do we want to talk about the new promotion this week? Yeah, because we, we, we obviously have something big to mention at the mm -hmm. end. I think everybody knows what we're talking about. Something so like big, extra yeah. large big, you mean? Something like extra large. Yeah, <laughs> That is true. <laughs> I'm excited yeah. to see, uh, you know, Sound Warps AP when he gets them. <laughs> very, very true. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this week, uh, you know, Figpin is doing some spring cleaning as they're putting it. I, I know that they had I said on their um, social media post that it was BOGO. Uh, it's not actually BOGO. It's buy two, get one free. It okay. does not include uh, box sets or the um, box set mystery minis. Like the the PDQ of mystery minis, mm -hmm. it is automatically applied. the The discount is automatically applied as you're checking out. So if you're looking to go ahead and get some pins at a great, you know, I mean, you're getting them for ten dollars, right? So buy two get one free. You're paying thirty dollars, so that means you get three pins for thirty dollars, ten dollars each. Pretty great deal. If you're missing pins or have an opportunity that you want to try to get some more of the Luffy or the cyberpunk <laughs> chase pin um, chance common for the chase. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to go ahead and do that for a better deal, but definitely check out their website and snag their pins. Make sure if you're getting anything fun that you're tagging us, what the fig pin on those posts. Speaking of getting some amazing stuff, did you see I believe it was, is it uh, Jax that went ahead and had, it's not Jax, who posted today that they bought the Chase variants of uh, Nezuko and Tanjiro, and they received a AP of... Oh, I saw that. Oh, who did that? Wow. Yeah, Figpin must have cleared out everything and yeah. they're like, oh yeah, you know what, we'll just clear out this AP for you too. Yeah, yeah, so it was uh, uh, Demon Slayer, but I can't think of the... Yeah, so it's Tanjiro and Nezuko, and it was J-Raw went ahead and posted his, his mail call today. He purchased both the Tanjiro and the Nezuko chase when Figpin had those available as like kind of a blowout sale, trying to get rid of them. And they sent him the Nezuko AP for the chase version. So very, very cool. I did see that he was posting in Figpin boosters looking for some boost on it. And he had third uh, claim or third launch on it. So pretty, pretty cool. Congratulations. Cool. 
Yeah, did you guys go ahead and uh participate in the uh Deku chase at all? I did not. Talking about... um... Rev, you don't have any of them? Uh, uh I'm I'm actually um it, the funniest thing cuz people don't realize um I like anime but there are some ones that I just could not connect with. Okay. <laughs> and MHA was definitely one of them. And then, well, did you try the for the Luffy? Um, I did not try for the Luffy um, yet because I just, I actually just got back from Legoland. I was there uh, for a vacation about a week ago. So I'm still oh, nice. trying to recoup awesome. a little bit um, before I start to um, throw in some more cash out there. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Believe me. I hear you. Uh, Darth, did you go ahead and put, try to get your uh, luck for the chase for, Oh, what is, Look at this, guys. This is it's gonna it's gonna come through the the shine here, but yeah, I was able because I mean we'd already said that we knew I'd hit a what I have like a Y, so definitely hit the first week. Oh, the freaking light in here isn't. So I mean I'm gonna obviously spotlight him here pretty soon, but definitely an amazing pin. Very cool. Uh, I mean, well, I, congratulations. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm with one shot. I mean, with Rev, I'm not huge in a certain anime but i just those when i see those limited edition pins you know i i want to add them to my collection um you know especially with the what we'll obviously talk about here in a minute with the uh cyberpunk but just some really nice pins coming out and uh i gotta add them when they're that low yeah yeah I, well let's talk about cyberpunk so cyberpunk has uh you know got re released last week they have lucy and rebecca at ellie a thousand if i'm correct and yep. then they have the David Martinez. The common version is 500. The chase version is a LE of 250. That is, um, you know, pretty, I mean, it's a 50-50 shot of going ahead and getting them, right? So it's a little bit better than the, the Deku. But I like the pin style and also the glow in the dark on that pin looks pretty amazing. So it's definitely fun. Speaking of, I, and I for, totally seen him comment, but I forgot to go ahead and say anything, but we did have Derek join us. So Derek, if you're still watching, thank you for joining us, man. I uh, hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, I mean, thanks for all of the amazing artwork that you and the, the team are, are doing there. So absolutely. That's another one, uh, you know, LE 250, and it's definitely going to the collection. I, I think I I got smart this time with my orders. I picked, I did it in two separate shots this time instead of just buying them all three at once. Because uh, I, I talked to you about the the, Luff, the Luffy, Luffy, excuse me, and all three of them start with a, a number, my comments. Yep. So I'm, I know I'm before breaking we, up this time. I know that before we went live, I went ahead and I was – uh you know, I was opening my Luffy's with you guys because I totally forgot on Sunday. I, I mean, I totally forgot last week to go ahead and, and even put them into the app to try to get a a good unlock position or launch. But I, I call it unlock still so launch position. And I have out of the three that I purchased, I have one that's an F, which probably not going to hit on that one. And then I have uh, an X and I have a W. So I'm really angry at myself that I might have had a chance to at least hit on one of those later ones. But there's always next Monday to try for the, the chase chance. So we'll see what happens. I went ahead and ordered two more uh, off of Pops and Pins. So we'll see. Hopefully, you know, we get something that's M or, or, or lower for a chance at that one. Very true. And talking about uh, retailers, I know that, you know, I, I just went ahead and got, scored that awesome AP from pins with the pins on fire logo. Uh, we've talked about pops and pins, but I do also know that uh, Bump and Bite has some WonderCon pins still available on his website. Yeah. So make sure that you're checking out Bump and Bite's website. Did we also not see him post pre-sales for some of the new mystery minis? Yes, I was he did. looking. Yeah. Yep. I was looking the other night for somebody for actually some WonderCon pins and uh I happened to notice that. What was it? SpongeBob and there's another SpongeBob one, right? and Last Airbender, I think it was. Yeah, Last Avatar. Airbender. And then isn't it a solo leveling also was announced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solo leveling is out yep. there as well. But I, I think I, 
I think I saw that on Entertainment Earth as well. Entertainment okay. Earth. Yep. Very cool. Uh, I mean, there's lots, lots of good retailers out there for for getting. I, I am trying to get a lot of the. Some of them offering eight dollar to dollar pins. I need to shore up my collection, so I've been just scooping up a lot of those cheap pins. You know, Fry Guys, another one having these. I happened to go on the other day and watch the show for fifteen minutes, and I I needed uh, the older uh, Baron, Baron Zemo. Yep. And yeah. I guess I completed. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm like, all right, you know, eight dollars. Boom, I get it. And then he's like, you know, and Darth Pins completed Fry Guy, and, and I'm like, wait, what? What happened? Yeah, and I'm texting. He goes, "Oh yeah, you know, you get to pick something." And next thing you know, I got a I got a gift card for fifteen dollars of credit with our store. So basically, for eight bucks, I got a free pin and and a, and a few dollars credit. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to try those thing, things once in a while. Um, Animus is asking about solo leveling. Solo leveling is a newer anime. Um, it's been pretty popular. I have not seen. Have you guys watched that anime yet? I have not, yet. but I have some friends that have seen it that they said it's it's um awesome. Oh really? What uh where's it at? What channels or what is it a Hulu thing or is it a I that that's no that's the question. <laughs> I'm sure you, I'm pretty sure it's on Somebody. um on Crunchyroll. Okay. And then the other thing that I'm looking at here in the chat, and that's uh sound warp is saying that mystery mini power puff girls are in stock on hot topics website so now i'm here okay. searching because i didn't even know that they were having a uh mystery mini for power puff girls i think i remember seeing that on entertainment earth as well as a um pre-order well that and it's okay. buy two get one free currently right now so if you are looking for Powerpuff Girl fig pins. Thank you to uh, Sound Warp for the little tip here on Hot Topics website. They are buy two get one free. And so if I buy two cases, would it give me one free? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, yeah, <laughs> definitely. And I'm looking at them. They, yeah, these are pretty cool. I'm liking them a lot. So we will go ahead and post this onto our. Uh, Onto our Facebook page as well. So thank you, Sound Warp, for doing that. But very, very cool deal as well. <laughs> so I just saw solo le solo leveling is on Crunchyroll. Yep. Yeah, I was about to say Funimation, and I was like, oh wait a second, they they just went ahead and <laughs> finished there earlier this month. Uh, oh, the AP Naruto box set giveaway. How cool was that? <laughs> Oh yeah. Did you guys go ahead and throw your name in the ring with the uh, oh, absolutely and sharing and favorite Naruto <laughs> pin? Yeah. Your name in there for that one. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, that... definitely it's definitely cool. I'm glad that Fig Pins uh really trying to engage the community, you know, and the broader audience. And I, it was a, a username that I did not recognize. I'm not sure if anyone did recognize if you guys had ever seen mm -mm. that person before. Uh, Mex no, it was Mexitaco69. Mexi <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, congratulations to Mexitaco. And yeah, I mean, post again, post pictures, please. We, we'd love to go ahead and see what, you know, uh, the AP box set for sure. It's definitely fun. I know I had shared something on here, but it doesn't look like it's saved. There, if you go to Shop Disney UK and you type in Kevin, uh, and this is thanks to Figpin DB. So Fig Figpin DB, uh, make sure you're checking him out on Instagram. Also, goes a great contributor in the Figpin fans Discord page. Found a new up pin on uh, eBay. Then had mentioned that if you go to Shop Disney UK, the pin was available by searching for Kevin. It is not has not been announced, released, or talked about besides having that little sneak peek preview. I have not seen anyone go ahead and actually say they have that pin in hand yet within our community within the you know the fig pin community. So it'll be exciting to see when that pin gets into the hands of collectors. I have to. There you go. There he is. Oh, what shipping is on this? 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you have to go ahead and do it like through a third party shipper and all that stuff. So, you know, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't figured out how to do, um, do that, but, you know, I'm speaking of things that, you know, are, uh, annoying, especially having to figure things out. I am annoyed that you found in super rare and I found the comments. So I'm going to open up another one. Darth, do you want to go ahead and grab another, uh, and hey, Brave, if you want to go ahead deck. and open up another um, Naruto, please go ahead and be, feel free, man. I'm ready when you are. See, Chris, this is how you do it. Pull a little tab, it comes right open. Two seconds. Yeah, Chris. Get with the program, man. All right, <laughs> in three, in two, in one. Another pineapple. <laughs> no way. No way. Did it live on air. We did it live it. on air. Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. I got it. We did I it live on air. It. Damn, nice, Rev. Congratulations. That is, that is awesome. That is so cool. Oh, my cool, God. Man. I never thought I was going to get this. Oh, my gosh. So I'm excited. So freaking cool, man. Oh, man, I am so happy for you, dude. That is so cool. You know, I heard they're super cheap. You need me to take it off your hands. I, You know, I got a couple of uh, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh pins, you know. It's a... Oh, my gosh. I have... Um, this is like with this nine, that's like 34 of these of these quests that I've purchased. And I'm just like, I'm so freaking excited because I was like, I I just I was just like, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. But this is I, this this dude, makes it all worth it. So this makes it all you, worth man. it. So happy for you, dude. That is amazing. Uh I'm not sure if you're aware, but I uh there was one sale so far and it was uh, and Darth, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was eight or nine hundred dollars. It was, yep. So, I mean, yeah, uh, amazing pin. I am so. Uh, this is why I wanted to do it with people that still had them and hadn't opened it because we have not seen this actually be pulled live. I'm so so freaking happy for you, man! Congratulations! Oh my again, gosh, dude. you just do not know how excited I am for this. <laughs> <laughs> now I want you to open up the other ones to see if you have any more. <laughs> I mean, what happens hey. if what happens if uh was that Mighty Hobby? Who who's the one that had the last ones? <laughs> Mighty Hobby shop. What what if what if I have like two or three more? What what do that I do then? Crazy, <laughs> he, well, his hey, DMs will be open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and open up another one then. I'm gonna open up. I, I can't believe I got the same stitch, man. This can't not happen here. Darth pulling a super rare. All right, and three, and two, and one. All right, it's a, a different stitch pin at least. <laughs> uh, another oh, common. Another common. We got a coconut sipping stitch this time. I like that. That's fun. Oh man, I can't. Is she glittery or is that just that's a common, right? <laughs> that's me, right? Yeah, that's a common. Oh dude, I I'm so hyped for you, man. I cannot believe that, Rev. That's so cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh! She just, I, I'm, I'm trying not to smile because oh, um, I can, smile, I can man. feel my you face totally is, is, is like. <laughs> you know what I would, what I would love is, and you can take the time if you want to, man, um, to go ahead and open it and see what sequence you got for it because that would be even cooler if you got like one or twenty five out of it. Very, very cool, man. So, so happy for you, dude. Um. Uh, bump and bite with WonderCon pins. I believe Pops and Pins still has some WonderCon pins as well. He does, yeah. Uh, Shop Disney UK with the Kevin we talked about. The buy two, get one free. The Cyberpunks. Ooh. They went ahead and they had sent out a uh, their weekly rewind email and put a little emoji guess what's happening this week. What do you think was what was your guess when you first saw that, Darth? I had to it's like a robot, look. a lightning bolt. It was a dinosaur. A dinosaur, and then I think like a bursting star or something, right? I when I started to look at it, somebody kind of spoiled it right away. When I was kind of viewing the on their site, I think I saw the chat at the same time. And you know, first somebody was saying roids, and then they were saying hemorrhoids, and then Zoe finally said Zoid. And here I'm like, wait, what now? Robotech? Who? But yeah, I, I, I knew it was some kind of robot. I just didn't know what, what it was at first until I started seeing the dino and the the lightning bolt. And 
but you know, I, I actually thought that wasn't um, wasn't Transformers. I, I was thinking it was Transformers because they were last time we had seen talk about XLs. That I thought they were supposed to be the first one on the on the shoot, but you know, you know, pretty cool on this right now. So. Yeah, I mean, so, and thanks to Sound Warp for sharing with the community, uh, Hasbro Pulse went ahead and shared that XLs were coming back for the very first time and announced the Optimus Prime as well as Megatron with his, you know, this this thing going, whatever. Yeah, that, the little phallus thing, yeah. whatever. <laughs> um, so <laughs> then, and I'm sure, you know, Derek is going to go ahead and... and be mad that I went ahead and did that, but it it is. I mean, I'm sure you're admitting, Derek. It is funny, right? <laughs> but we go ahead and have this little, you know, little um, uh, emoji guessing game. And then yesterday they posted a, you know, blacked out. Excuse me, guys. I'm about to cough. Sorry about that. Uh, so they put they post that blackout image with what looks like to be Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So I am totally excited for for this. Uh, I did see, I, I have seen some uh, packaging designs for it when they were um, talking about bringing XL back. So I, I do know that the packaging uh, that had been discussed as being a a pain point for them uh, has been corrected for sure. I'm 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 liking what the packaging looks like. And this Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will have the Derek. official launch of the XL. So Rev, I'm not sure how how long you've been following us, but you know we've always joked around with a hashtag saying bring XL back uh, because we miss it. And yeah. not that we had anything to do with it, but I'm going to take, we're going to take credit that our hashtag went ahead and push them to, uh, <laughs> you know, bring XL back. Yeah. I, I really wish they would have started it with, um, you know, attack on Titan. They would have got Titan XLs. Cause I, Oh my gosh, that would have just been beautiful. Yeah. So now let me give you, let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, appropriate or not to go back and release an XL of the Titans? Appropriate or... Yeah, I really don't care. I want Titans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I just, want, I just want big Titans. I just... Because I remember when Amato was talking about it, he was saying, you know, doing it when it makes sense. And that's why, you know, I didn't think that they were going to do the Titans for Attack on Titan until they brought back XL. Then they did the smaller ones, and I was like, okay, I guess that that means that they're definitely not going back to XL. Um, but if they want to go back and do it, I, my money's there for it. So, and I guess let me, if they were to go back and do the female Titan that they already have opposed for the Colossal Titan, the Armored Titan, would you be okay with having? the same the same mold just in that six inch version i'd be fine with it um but if they wanted to do a different action pose i'd be i'd be all for that too okay very very cool yeah darth what about you man what do you think and that's the thing about the xls you, i like that you know you don't want to take a character that's normally a three inch and just be like you know, so it's cool you still like like the titan the megazoids the the Transformers, anything along that line, that's that's that makes sense as an XL. Like you know, with Godzilla being an XL, then you look over and there's Spider Man. You're like, uh, you know, I know yep. they're just trying to get that out there, but I think that should be reserved for something like that. You know, something big, something uniquely to a series. Um, now, I haven't got too far into into um, Attack on Titan. I think I got into two episodes, and the wife said this was stupid. Shut it off. So <laughs> I, have do, I have to do it by myself. Uh, you know, and and I do. I am aware that the uh, you know the, the license ended for um, Attack on Titan, so I you know unless they they go back and talk with them to uh, you know get the the license back, uh, you know we're not going to go ahead and see any more Attack on Titans, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, 
someone just messaged me that there are four people that have Kevin in hand. So I'm assuming that I, I, I don't remember the, uh, the pin number, but I'm sure that if you go on to fig pins app and type in that pin number, you can go ahead and see, uh, you know, the lot size and what people have already uh, claimed, not, not well claimed them, but not launched. We need at least 10 pins to launch. Let's see if fig pin DB has them. Oh, there he is. Okay, so my sequence number. Ooh. Please say it's 19, 19 out of 25. Oh, still amazing. Hey, still amazing. Yeah. Um, I, I just looked and there's only um there's 20% that have launched. So that's like five pins that have launched already. So there's been five that have been found, and mine will be make will make six. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, it's pin 15, 16 is that Kevin yep. and 1600. So there, so being six to launch, uh, there still is, there still is no launch date then for that pin. Right. Cause it, we need 10 pins to be clean for it to be launched. I believe yeah. is the rule. So there, there's at least four more that have to be found. I know that uh, Datiga had found three of them, sold one of them. So I'm not sure if the person that bought it claimed that pin. I'm not sure about the third pin that he had, if he still has it or has gotten rid of it as well. So, yeah, we're we're probably around seven or eight that we are aware of. And who knows, maybe in the other six that you have there, you might have, you know, who knows, maybe all six of them are, are, are golden whites. <laughs> don't don't get me that excited. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Not if that, it, was, it, not that it had it. anything to do with us, but we're going to take credit. We went ahead and mentioned the Mighty Hobby sale or the Mighty Hobby having the last the last nine available. You heard it on the show, so we're going to take credit that we got that for you, man. <laughs> Absolutely, very, very cool. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm so excited for you. It's, it's so awesome, man. I'm so happy that we were able to go ahead and pull it live too. Yeah, I'm, 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 hoping, like I'm, I'm hoping I find at least one more. It would be cool. It would definitely be cool. Um, I'm going to open up another stitch. Heck with it, man. I can't go ahead and go off on just having commons. <laughs> This is... I feel like I'm pulling a Chris right now. I can't get this to get open. All right. In three, in two, in one. Another common. This is, let me, let me go to the app. This is another common. All right. He's eating an, uh, an ice cream. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open one more. I got nine of rare. them. So you pulled a rare, Karibo. Very fun. Man, I really feel like Chris. Man, Chris has rubbed off on me here. Can't open up these mystery minis. Oh, it was it's Angel. Well, at least I got all four commons. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm halfway there now to go ahead and claim in the the ultra. I got all four commons. Yeah, I just pulled common. another common. Was that Joey that you also pulled there, Darth? It's Kaiba. Oh, it was Kaiba. I didn't. I I saw it really quickly. So far, every one of them that you know. No duplicates, well, so that's a good sign. Might as well go ahead and just open them so that you guys can go ahead and see what I have. There's no point in not doing this. Here's another <laughs> one. Same ice cream Same. stitch. All right. Same ice cream stitch. Uh, Rev, have you ever been to any of the Comic-Cons that Figpin's been at? I have been to NYCC twice. Um, I actually met Battle at the last one I was at um, back in 2022. Oh, very cool. Oop, I pulled the rare. Lilo. There's Joey. 
All right, I got two more to go. Let's see, guys. I pulled one rare. <clears throat> I hope that Getty Getty ups right that we pull a hyper here. I've never, I don't know about you guys, but I've never pulled a hyper uh, mystery mini yet. Another angel. Oh, what's this uncommon? All right, looks like. Oh, they have glitters. I didn't know that. Oh, you haven't seen the glitter ones yet? That's the first time. No, I didn't see. Them. I just, I just, I had the screen. Up. I didn't have it open far enough, so. Because they did the same thing with the with the 50th anniversary for the Hello Kitty, is that they have the glitter ones in that set. Yeah, they look awesome. Again. All right. Well, I have one rare out of nine. So I'm... That I have one one left to open. All right, here it is. This is it. This is the second one. Common. Let's go. Common. Hey, I'll take hey. eight commons and one gold and white Naruto <laughs> six, in sixteen hundred for anything. Exactly. I, I'll I'll take that that one for for anything because. It's it's just it's just the the awesomeness of having this in my collection is just it, it's it it just reminds me of when I got this in my collection. Oh, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. When, I, when I got the Bruce Lee. Yeah, let's, it, yeah let me let me put you in the spotlight so people can see that together. <laughs> because having both of these gold whites in my collection are just it's just amazing. So stinking cool, man! Oh, so cool! So happy for you, man! Thank you, thank you. Uh, there we go. There's the glitter. Very cool. Where? What are you up to there, Darth? How many you got there? Uh, I got one left. All right. Let's see what we got, man. So in the in the box, you pulled two glitters so far. You pulled a super rare, and then was it a rare you pulled also? I pulled a Karibo Karibo rare. And you pulled the super rare, right? Super rare was the uh, Dark Magician. Nice. Come on, let's go. Blue eyes, let's go right here. And I'm sorry, have you guys ever pulled a hyper rare out of the uh, mysteries? I, I I didn't. Wasn't really. I, I, I pulled I one for one of the Hello Kitty sets. Nice. Actually, I want to think. No, it's actually two of the Hello Kitty sets I pulled the hyper rares for. Jeez, man! Um, <laughs> Look at but, you. But remember, Trev, I'm just gonna go ahead and have you order my stuff, and then I'll have you ship it to me, man. <laughs> but remember, I I have all five Hello Kitty sets, and so yeah, well, I gotta I'm pretty, get something. You purchased a lot of that, so there's another glitter. All right, so you got and all three different glitters. Uh, I got two of the glitter. No, two of the four glitters. Okay, so you had a duplicate glitter. Very cool. Awesome, man. Well, hey, this this was a really, really productive night for awesome pulls. Absolutely. Yep. Very, very cool, man. Well, hey, I, I hope someone uh you know screenshot that for uh Rev to go ahead and be able to post on social media. Rev, you know, this it'll be in our uh our live section as well. Battle's gonna go ahead and post this into our regular video section. So make sure you're grabbing a screenshot so you can post it on your social media channels. Awesome. Uh Rev, is there one shot customs? Do you what do you do with that? Would you like to go ahead and give that business a shout out? Well, one shot custom started. I actually um when I first started into collecting pops, it was probably about a year in, I started doing some custom repaints of pops. Um, but since then I've kind of slowed down on that. I'm doing more like t-shirt designs and things to that effect. Um, which this is actually one of my designs that I did. Nice. Um but yeah, so I've been doing t-shirt designs and other things like that, just trying to um probably eventually do a, a little business on the side. Um, but I've just been doing one-off stuff for people and just as people have been asking me. Very, very cool, man. And where where can they find you? Um, they can check me out at one shot underscore customs on, on um IG. Very cool. Very cool. Um, the last thing, and I think, uh, Darth, did we talk about everything? 
Yeah, we talked about the XLs. That was the last thing. We talked about the uh, new the Rodeo giveaway. Uh, I saw Fig Pin did the spotlight again. So hopefully that's a common occurrence again. So that would be nice. Uh, to... Yeah, who who was the spotlight? I don't. I didn't see who it was. Oh, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, oh, man. Yeah. It was nice seeing that... the action there. Yeah, uh, so I'll give Darth the. It was Darth was the the spotlight for last week. So. <laughs> Uh, very very cool. I mean, I like your collection, man. Again, it keeps growing, so it's awesome. You know the awesome. Uh, the the it did actually say you know I submitted that a few whatever they first started doing that. So I forgot it said you know what six hundred something pins, and I'm actually you know pretty much over that now. So the wife saw it and she's like, "You have six hundred and something fig pins." I'm like, "No," and she and she goes, "Oh, okay, wait." I'm like, "I have closer to 700 She goes, seven hundred fig pins." <laughs> it's like, this isn't new. Look at the look at behind me. I mean, yeah, she it's sees like a this, she, doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't see the the uh, the tough boxes over there. So I'm like, yeah, I know. You know, look, <laughs> there's what 179, 200 freaking Star Wars fig pins, and then you start adding up the rest of them. So, oh yeah, it grows fast. Yes, definitely it grows, grows fast. fast. <laughs> I mean, it's right. I mean, it's it's a good time to be a collector right now i'm filling a lot of these early pins that i missed a lot of people are very generous in the community helping out and uh said i you know i was talking to uh a newer member um i think it's actually cv tv in there and you know there's a lot of opportunities right now to uh pick up some of these pins that that you that you like that you you know a year or two ago they would have been very hard to get a hold of so people have been very generous um reaching out i mean you look at people in the community like saying, Oh, I got two of this one. If you need one, let's trade. And that's amazing. I mean, Funko, I never had that luck in Funko. Just people were very, uh, kept particular. themselves with it, you know? Yeah. Very particular. <laughs> <For laughs> you sure. know, look, look behind you, you got all those Funkos. I mean, I'm sure they weren't, some of them weren't easy to get a hold of. Oh yeah. A lot of stuff wasn't easy to get a hold of, but like you said, the fig pick community is a lot, um, a lot easier to, to work with people. Um, actually in the last, I want to say the last four months, I've been able to get a hold of two of the logos that I wasn't able to get for the longest time, which was the Stranger Things and the MHA. You know, those logos, oh, nice. you know, those were hard to oh, get yeah. for a while. And and it, it it took a while, but I was able to get a hold of them. And and at a reasonable price too, because you know, most people were trying to gouge for them, but I, I did pretty good, pretty good with the prices on those. And it was nice. I was excited. Yeah, I don't um, want to mention what I paid for that one. <laughs> are are you aware of the um Stranger Things logo debacle? No. So you're aware that uh that set was a pre-order and they were only going to make as many sets as they had pre-orders for. Yes. They had something close to, I was going to say it was like 390 something in pre orders. Big Pin being the amazing company that it is and always trying to do Easter eggy stuff, they wanted to have an 11 with the number. So they increased it to 411 box sets. So there should have been 411 of the five characters and then 411 of the logos. If you take a look at your logo, it's 421, I believe, or 426. I it's some odd number. So, or no, I think it might have been 430. I think it was 20 more than what the the 11. So there was a a miscommunication mishap with the logo compared to the box set. So there was more logos made compared to the box sets that were actually made. Wow. Now you got me looking. <laughs> I'm always full of all these little tidbits of knowledge. <laughs> yeah, that one, I I think I had to actually had to get the box set because it was cheaper to get a box set with the logo than it was to get the logo separate. When I first got into logo collecting, you know, some people were asking for four fifty for just that logo itself. Yep, two year, two years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll I'll tell you, man, because uh, you know you just talked about like missing you know, having the opportunity to purchase it for retail and not that it was retail, but I, I know when I first got hard into fig pin and seen that there was an eBay sold listing 
of all of the Assassin's Creed pins, including the golden white Ezio for $250. I, I just like, why couldn't I be into this a few months it, sooner to go yeah. ahead and bid on that, to go ahead and have the golden white Ezio. But yeah, it was, uh, it's fun. It's, it's, it's always, it's still fun looking for the hunt. You know I mean? Obviously I have a couple of, this one is going to be a tough one to fulfill and where's mm -hmm. Ezio? Ezio should be right there. So what's the one, what's the one right to your left? These guys? Yeah. That, yeah. That one. This right. is, uh, Vetra Nix, the, pro, the, uh, Bioware, um, promo for Mass Effect. Okay. And then this, I, I have these pins, but I don't have the first editions. It's the, uh, uh, the two, um, musicians from Kiss, the, the end, you know, it's, I think it's like 17 and 21 or 18 and 22, whatever the numbers would be. So I, I have those pins. I just don't have the first editions of them. So I, I wanted to have the first editions of them. That's not the box set, right? That's the individual. No, no, that's the individual when they first, yeah. the first came out. That's, that's a, I'm a, I, you know, that was one of my first, I remember being six or seven years old dressing up as Peter Chris. <laughs> we're living overseas so like i have a little special thing for those i haven't really again i haven't like you said somebody wants 150 dollars for just the one pin somebody wants 25 dollars, you know for two of them and i just really haven't found a good deal to get the four individual ones like you like you have there yep so yeah so i'm i'm it's always fun still hunting for for the pins and trying to get the best deal that you can and i would love to have the whole wall just be complete for the first you know 200 plus pins that fig pins ever made that would be amazing. Yeah, I think I think I still need the, some of the Assassin Creeds and the John Cena that I know will be obtainable. I don't think the who's the uh, Piazza, the Ezio, uh, those are probably just never going to happen unless because you know, I think what's there only one one found of the Ezio out of the ten that are supposedly exist. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's only one that's been claimed in the app. Yep. That, that's not happening. And then Piazza was that one. Well, there's another baseball player too. Wasn't there uh Felix or somebody they made never got released, but it's they're out there somewhere? Uh yes. Yeah, so Dan Dan has was it Dan or, or Travis that had that fig pin made and it was never never released. I know of one person that has has the pin. It was a Seattle, that's not, I think. That's Seattle, not baseball player. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So, All right. Well, uh, I know we covered everything. Rev, it's been a true pleasure uh, getting to know you and talk with you. And thanks for always absolutely. supporting the show and and having the opportunity to come on tonight, man. And I'm so happy that you did because I, I can't <laughs> believe that we pulled a, a golden white Naruto, man. Awesome. Awesome. I Very appreciate cool. it. Definitely. Darth, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me back on again. Definitely. Battle, we miss you, my friends. Hope you're doing well this evening. Of course, I went to try to get the What the Fig pin sign, and I knocked a bunch of pins down. Uh, <laughs> but guys, to everyone that's on the chat, thank you so much. If you haven't done so already, make sure you're hitting that like button for us. Hit the bell so that you can go ahead and get alerts when we're going live or when we post anything. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we also are in Discord, always having fun with the community in there as well. We will be back next week. Thank you so much to everyone. You are watching What the Fig Pin? One shot. I don't know if you've ever watched to the end of this show, but to go ahead and as a honor to where we started with Fig Pin Boosters, we'll go ahead and do a countdown. Then we shout Boost Awesome. Sometimes Battle does some weird boost things that he never owed and he always <laughs> counts weird i try to do it normal for everybody <laughs> we will see you guys next week cvtv thank you for joining us and thank you for sticking along the whole time that we were here make sure that you're reaching out to us because we would like to go ahead and get that logo shipped out to you for from pops well in honor of pops and pins not from pops and pins but in honor of pops and pins thank you guys so much in three in two in one boost awesome boost awesome have a great night everyone See you later. And